Indeed, Nompu political parties have started hitting the ground, running ahead of the November 1st local government elections. And I can tell you that uh, the new and small uh, political parties also are hoping to make a dent during this year's local government elections. Let us engage the president of the APC, Abantu Bato Congress. That's Mr. Pilani Mavunja. Mr. Mavunja, thank you very much for your time. You have unveiled your manifesto here today outside the city hall. You say you want to be in charge of uh, this only metro in the province of KwaZulu Natal. Isn't that being too ambitious, though, considering that you are a new kid on the block? Uh, thank, thanks a million. No, it, it's not being over ambitious. Uh, the ground is fertile out there. Uh, the ruling party and their friends, they've committed uh, 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 political suicide in a manner that they've dealt with issues, especially when it comes to issues of service delivery. We all know that. Secondly, they've planned that the finances of these particular municipalities, like any other municipality in the country. Therefore, we are very clear when we're going to the ground that people are complaining that there are potholes all over around KZN. Therefore, this city, as far as we are concerned as APC, we're saying, is one of those municipalities that we want to take over. I was born in this town in Claremont. When I was growing up, we had textile industries around here. There were no clothing coming from China. In Amastel, we had rainbow chicken, where all the chickens that we consume came from. Today, we are importing chicken even from America. Can you imagine? South Africans can do heart transplant, but we cannot produce chicken. Therefore, we're saying we are a game changer. We are an alternative. We are very clear that in the next five years in Tepenalun, we will have created 500,000 jobs. And we've broken those down in our manifestos as to how we're going to achieve that. Okay. You also spoke about the issue of uh, crime, uh, Mr. Mavunda. Can you elaborate on this? Well, if you look into our township, uh, our children, they've, 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 they've ventured into serious crime. That's what's happening. They are unemployed. They've got nothing to do. They've ventured into drugs. They're stealing coppers out of our homes to go and sell so that they can buy nyaupe. Somebody needs to take the lead and make sure that we change the way things are done. And we are saying APC is going to be doing exactly that. We're going to go to the communities and say to them, we're starting what used to be done in this province, which all of us hated. But looking at it now, you can imagine why it was there. We used to have what was called Okonda. The APC is going to bring back that culture that we have so many people that can protect our street. If you go to, the, to where the white people are residing, you find that the communities in the evening they change shift. That will be three guys that is looking what is happening in the street and so on and so on. We want to do exactly the same where we reside. And lastly, you spoke about the criminality that is happening within the government uh, under the leadership of the governing party, the ANC. And you are a new political party. You've registered in over 800 wards, I believe, across the country. But the question is, what makes you different as this new political party? Why would people not vote for other political parties and choose your party? Well, let's look back. If you look at the last uh, uh, general election, you had 16 million people who decided not to vote. It tells you the reason they didn't vote is because they are sick and tired of everything that is there. You need to give them the alternative. They know what comes out of their right to vote, but they had nobody to vote for. And we are saying we are that alternative. And also you spoke about the issue of the current Amazulu king not being paid his salary. How do you hope to intervene in that matter? Well, this issue is a disgrace. We are very clear that our current king uh, is not getting paid. Uh, king Misuzul casualty need to be paid. We understand that the Kwazulu government has made it their business to make sure that he goes hungry. That, that's what it is. And ourselves as Kwazulu people and the Zulus in particular, we are saying that is correct. That is not correct. That is very, very wrong. The king needs to be paid and his salary needs to be paid. That's all what we're saying. And if the premier of this province is not doing anything about that as APC, we'll take it into our shoulders to make sure that we take that dream so that he understand the message. Going a little bit in terms of how the Zulu monarchy has been being treated by the Guazulu government, if you look at it every year, 
when the Wazulu government is opening the legislature, they make sure that the king goes and opens the tent and then the premier opened the legislation. That is undermining our monarchy. So it's been going on for too long and we are saying it must come to an end. Let me challenge you further on this uh, point, uh, uh, Mr. Mavunda. You say that uh, the premier is refusing to, to pay the salary of Amazon King, Mrs. Zulu. But you are, of course, aware of the court processes that are still unfolding uh, because uh, the decision by the court has not been made as yet. So isn't that putting the, the premier under the bus, so to speak? Now we are very clear, we don't have anything called Zulu court. The court you're talking about is a court of the Republic of South Africa, which has got absolutely nothing to do with the Zulu monarchies. We had the Zulu people before they were courts. We had the Zulu people. The family of the Zulu people has taken a decision on the matter, and it ends there. You don't need a politician or some judges sitting somewhere to decide for the Zulu people. We've never ever said that the judges are above the Zulu system of our own life. We've never said that, and that's not what it is. From your question, if that is what it is, then we need to be told that the Zulu monarchy is below the courts and the politicians of this country. And then we'll be clear what to expect. But at the moment, as far as we are aware, the Zulu monarchy was there before there were any courts. The Zulu monarch was never any part of what is happening in terms of governing South Africa. We are very clear on that one. Mr. Mavunda, thank you very much for your time. Sabah. That's the president of ABC, Abandu Bato Congress, Mr. Pilani Mavunda, here outside the Durban City Hall, unveiling the party's uh, election manifesto ahead of the November 1st local government elections. With that, it's back to you in Studio Nongu. Thanks very much, my colleague there, Simpiwe Makanya.